And welcome everyone to Vectrek part three. Uh, in this one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do some live coding. And my plan is to get the shields working. So let's take a look at what we have and what we are doing. Now, again, I am still out in the countryside. I don't have all my technology with me. That's why you're seeing you know, OBS Studio pop up like that. But real quick, uh, shout out to my channel members. These are paid channel members. They get benefits like early access to videos and access to private discord amongst others. So we have snake shout outs, Kevin, Paul, and joining them is Jan, who have been members of the channel for one month or more. Invader shout outs. These are members who are at the, uh, join the channel, but not quite one month yet. So mod, Kim Xiong, Finez, and joining Finez, some new members in the last uh, couple of weeks, Peter, Uli, Bogdan, and Ezra. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. Um, so if you recall, I've got these little Klingons and they are kind of supposedly shooting at me, but their aim isn't very good. I haven't fixed that yet, but uh, I've got the Star Trek Enterprise in the middle and it can go around and it can shoot the enemies. I've also got uh, phasers, and it, the phasers, I can't really aim them, it just shoots at the nearest uh, enemy. And, you know, because you, you can just basically shoot forever, there's no limit to your power. You just, you can just devastate the enemies, so which is kind of cool. Anyway, so, uh, what I want to do today is I wanted to add shields to the game. So even though not everything's quite working yet, this is kind of the next step that I wanted to do. So to do that, uh, I'm just going to be using the basically the same whole kind of vector concept that we were using earlier and use that to draw the shields. So what I did was I took my original vector drawing which I made in uh, Google Sheets and then what I went, I went in and drew some shields. So this will give me the coordinates of the shields and I did the same thing for the clean one. The clean one is not quite as well done as the Enterprise one but that's okay for now. So basically what I gotta do is I gotta make these coordinates just like I did with the shapes. So let's go and see if we can find that section of the code. There we go. Uh, so I'm gonna call this starship shield shape. And notice I do like my I do like very consistent naming conventions. And this is gonna be a tuple of tuples. And and I'm not sure quite how many lines there are, but there's quite a few in this. So we may start hitting kind of the rendering limit of the turtle module. And so I may end up switching this over to Pygame at some point, but this is really just for fun. It's more of a tech, tech demo than a full game that I'm planning to make. We never know, we'll see how, we'll see how, see how light, where life takes us. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that over there. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and start, I'll just start here. We'll start at negative eight and six. So negative eight comma six, and then it goes over to negative two and six, negative two comma six, and then it cuts down to zero four, zero comma four, and then negative one and three. This is this is pretty complicated, or just a lot. I should say it's complicated. Just a lot of typing, and then it goes over to zero and two. Yeah, I think it's gonna slow things down. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And then that goes over to two and two. Then we go up to five and five. So I don't know how exciting this is to watch as far as a coding thing, but this is the process. So 10 and zero, 10 comma zero. And then it cuts down to five and negative five. See so that's how everything is pretty much a mirror image of everything else. And it brings us over to two and negative two, two comma negative two, and that that'll help with the rotations. And then zero, negative two. And we need to add some more. I could just copy and paste, I suppose. Okay, so we were at zero and negative two. So we got to go to negative one and negative three. down to negative two and negative six. Negative two, negative six. That'll cut us over to negative eight and negative six. 
negative eight comma negative six. Yeah, this is probably gonna slow things down. It's a lot of uh, lines to draw, but no problem with time. Then negative 10, negative four. 10 comma negative four. And negative six, zero. Now I could simplify things, and but I think it looks better this way. Negative 10 and four, negative 10 comma four. And back up to negative eight and six. Okay, negative eight comma six. Now at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get the shields working for the enterprise. And instead of worrying about the Klingons at this point, because if I, if I can get the code working for the enterprise, then it's just basically a copy and paste. So let's go ahead and hide that and take a look at our code here. Now, you know, coming back to something that I haven't coded for a while, I often kind of forget what I did and how I did it and all that sort of thing. So we have a shape. Let's see here. How do we actually draw shapes? Um, how do we render uh, these things? Ah, okay. So render. So we basically can make a, sh a vector shape. Okay. So, hmm, okay, I'm going to try to make this part of the Starship class itself. So I'm going to say self.shield shape equals, I'm going to add shield shape here, shape. Shield shape. Alrighty. And then down here, when I create the starship, I want to add shield shape at the end. Shield shape at the end. I'm just going to run this and see if it, there's any errors. Yeah. <laughs> shield shape. Ah, okay. This should be, uh, was it starship shield shape? Okay, so that's good. So now we got to do is add the rendering of that shield. So let's see how we can do that. Um, let's see here. I think I'm gonna have to change this in a bit. Actually, now that I think about this, um, let's go back to Starship. Okay, so rendering is done in the vector shape class. So, okay, so I've actually the shields have to be a vector shape as well. Okay, so all right, shield equals vector shape, and the shape is yeah, shield shape. And the X is going to be same as the player's X, same as H, same as H, scale, and scale is going to be 1. Okay. Okay, so let's go back. That's fine. Okay, so the shield is a vector shape. So then what we have to do is when we render... Hmm... So when we move it, we're going to have to render it. Okay, so let's go ahead and render shields. I don't know if this is the most efficient or way to do this, but let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to say self.shield.render. Because it's a vector shape, I should be able to use that render method. And but I also have to say self.shield dot x equals self dot x. So I gotta make sure the shield moves to where the player is. Dot y, self dot shield dot dy, or sorry, h equals self dot h. I think those are the three things we need. Um, let's try it, see what happens. Yeah, asha. Okay, pen, all right. Forgot to add the pen render, and I gotta use the pen to do that. Don't know if that's gonna work. 
Okay, well, it's kind of working. Well, I think it is working, actually. It's just the shield's the same color as the ship, so it looks a little bit weird. Okay, so, all right, let's change the color. Um, how does color get done? Um, yeah, I really forgotten how a lot of these things work now. Um, ah, select the color. All right, easy peasy. So let's make the shield color green for now. Shield, shield color green. All righty. Okay, it's working, but you can see how it's not quite the correct scale. So is the starship a different scale? That's probably our next question. Uh, 2.0, that's why. Okay, so that is the scale of the shield. All right, I can do that, I can move with that. Um, so if I, and I put one here, so it should be 2.0. There we go, very cool. All right, so now we've got shields. They're hard to see on the screen, but we got shields around the Enterprise, which is I'm very happy with, which is what I wanted. Um, now they're not very thick shields, but uh, we can deal with that later. Um, let's see here. Yeah, there, yeah, we'll deal with that later too. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of copy this code. Actually, no, I gotta do the uh, uh, enemy bird of prey shield shape. Um, so bird. I hope the uh, Star Trek people have a sense of humor and don't sue me. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's go equals. And let's put a bunch of these in there. All right, so let's go ahead and pull that up. And Klingons. Okay, so the Klingon shields are a little bit less complex. I could, probably could have brought them in a little bit, made it a little bit more uh, form-fitting, but we'll leave it like this for now. Um, so it's going to start at negative 7, 8. Negative 7, comma, 8. It's going to go over to negative 3, 8. 8. Um, it's going to shut down to negative 1, 6. 6. And down to negative 1, 2 over to 2, 2, 2 comma 2, up to 4, 4, down here to 8, 0, 8, comma 0, and 4, negative 4, negative 4, up to 1, negative 2, 2, to negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, comma, negative 2, Negative one, negative six. Uh, negative three, negative eight. Negative three, comma, negative eight. Negative seven, negative eight. Seven, comma, negative eight. Ooh, messed that up. Up to negative nine, negative six. And all the way up to negative nine six, negative nine, oops, comma six, and back up to negative seven, negative eight. Negative seven, comma, negative eight. All right, so that one's actually a little bit shorter than the uh, Starship one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy, basically, kind of copy the code that I did for the Enterprise and or the Starship, I should say. So. Bring that down to the enemy class. And we'll give the give them white shields instead. And then we need to do the rendering. And that's how because we're using classes, I don't have to change too much of the code because we use self. That's another one of the advantages of using classes. Let's go ahead and try this, see what happens. 
shield shape is not defined. Okay, so I forgot to do shield shape. And when I create the enemy, I need to send the shield shape. So bird of prey shield shape. Okay, let's see what happens. Did I put that in the wrong? Let's see, line 172. I think I put it in the wrong class, didn't I? That was the photon torpedo, not the enemy. Let's see here. Yosh, alrighty. Okay, so the shields are working. There's a there's something's a little bit off. I made a mistake somewhere in the in the numbers, but you can see how they, they now have shields, which is kind of cool. And you also can probably notice how things have slowed down a bit too. So I gotta think about that. I might have to end up just like making the shields just just a square or something to uh because uh circles are a little bit expensive to draw. As are these, but that's okay. I can I can live with this. Let me go back and just check those coordinates real quick. I think I missed, missed something somewhere. Um, vertebrae shield shape. That wasn't very smart, now was it? Okay, made a sub. It was down here that the error happened. So let's go ahead and see what I missed. Let's go work backwards. Negative seven, negative negative seven. Ah, negative seven eight, not negative eight. Okay, so yeah, the shields look about like they're supposed to, I believe. Um, but you can see how things have slowed down a little bit. Or maybe you can't tell, I'm not sure. But I can, like I said, for now, I can live with that. And, and it's kind of cool. I can fly around and just kill all these Klingons, which makes me really happy. Um, so I might change, I'm gonna have to change some of the colors around, but um, basically that's what I wanted to get done today. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, so I was able to add some shields. And then probably what I wanna do is make it so that as the shields get weaker, you know, the color changes and that sort of thing. But uh, let's save that for another day, especially when I get all my, when I get back to Tokyo and I can uh, draw things correctly. So real quick, uh, let me just kind of review what I did. Um, I started out with some new vectors, and basically I took my original vector drawing shapes, drew the shields around them, and did the same thing for the Klingons, although they're not quite as nice. I probably should, could have come in here and done it like that a little bit. But you can see how it's slowing things down, so I might want to also consider that, maybe just kind of make it, you know, like a bit more, like a fewer lines. It won't look as nice, but um, I'll think about that one, think about that one. And uh, then basically, you know, using the same method before as with the starships and, and the other objects, basically just added a shield shape, made it a vector, and then in the move method, I ended up rendering the shields here because the move method is called every single time. Um, so I'm going to ignore that because I'm running out of disk space. So I think it's a good place to stop. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell. And if you're able to uh, join the these fine folks and become a channel member. Take care.